And we begin with a rare opportunity, a one-on-one -on -one with one of the 12 apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The church's newest apostle for Elder Patrick Kieran is only six weeks on the job. And today he sat down with ABC4's Brian Carlson to share what it's like taking on such a big responsibility. What's it like being asked to serve as one of the 12 apostles for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? It was shocking then, six weeks ago, and it, and it still is. Today I sat down well, with newest really member of the 12, Elder Patrick really Kieran, who last month replaced Quorum President M. Russell Ballard, who died in November. Kieran tells me he struggles with the weight of the job. How does it feel? It feels beyond me. That, of course, is the short version. but. Um, it's important for me to understand that uh, I'm not meant to do this alone. So the sooner I can, I can stop having these, these thoughts and these inner conversations, the better, and turn out and, and get on with the, the job, the better. Intrigued. Prior to his call to the 12, Kieran was the senior president of the church's presidency of the 70 and a general authority since 2010. He says the difference now puts him in the forefront of church leadership, specifically overseeing the church in Europe, Asia and the Philippines, spending weekdays meeting with the rest of the 12, weekends visiting local church leaders throughout the world. Last weekend was the Orem temple dedication the weekend before was with leaders in the Las, Las Vegas area. Karen grew up in England and Saudi Arabia, converting to the church in 1987 and admits he didn't embrace it at first. I struggled with what they believed at the beginning, but I saw their actions and then it took me a while to realize that their belief and their actions were in fact one. He says keeping up with new converts joining the church is its biggest challenge moving forward. Places like Africa, parts of Africa, we grow very fast and, and that takes a lot of adjusting because you, you, we're trying to develop leadership at the pace that we're growing and, and that just takes time. So it's not things like transgender issues, it's not things like political uh, divisiveness. For that, he says Jesus Christ is the answer. He has the answer to all of these, all of these challenges. You know, the, the, if we look at his ministry when he was here, the way he preaches peace, understanding, long-suffering, loving our neighbor, that's the answer to those and, and just about any problem I can think of. That's the one thing Elder Kieran wants people to know about him. His whole job, his goal, is to help people cultivate a relationship with Christ. If I could help that along just a little, I'd be really happy. For now, he's taking the job one day or even one interview at a time. In Salt Lake City, Brian Carlson, ABC4 News.